how you can fur your the yellow rabbit foam head to make it have fur on it. Furring the head I actually did on stream, so don't forget to miss out on any streams that I do, because you often have some crazy stuff happening, like, look, it's my cat. So, what tools will you need? Something to cut with, something to mark. No hot glue, spray glue. Since I experimented with spray glue, I sprayed these three together with spray glue. So you can see these three here, and they are very strong together. It's a really good bond. Not the strongest, but it's kind of a little bit weaker than hot glue. But I think for this, it's gonna work good enough. I have some fur. It is fleece, but the only fleece I found is this super yellow shit. You'll see it on the second camera. Way better, because the coloring is there better. See how stinking yellow that is. So now let's talk about some things before you have to know to start furring them. Because there's some things you have to pay attention to if you have not already like thought of it. So when it comes to furring the head, if you look at this right now, he is very, you could call him from the front, seamless. If you don't know what a seam is, it's these, you see this line? This is a seam, yeah? And you want to have as few as possible. How did I get that? Well, I concentrated on having either the seams be in, let's see, say the ear holes, or one big in the behind, like the back. Because you won't see him much from the back, so he seems fully seamless. Which is, of course, what you want. You don't want to have any thing unperfection on him, you know? Another thing you have to pay attention to, for the eye holes, the eye holes, they go entirely through. Basically, to the inside. The ear holes, though, they still have their inner layer. Remember, there were different layers. There was this inner one, and then there's this outer one. You only cut the outer one out. <sighs> Another thing that you would know, for this, I have used for the, 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 the um, snout, I'm gonna call it. I've used the same fur, just fully over it, but you can also just replace this and use a different fur to make it look different. But I will go the simple solution of just painting it, which I will of course show you too, on how you can simply paint it. For the ears, you once again want as few seams as possible. Where's my... I have had four. One's missing. Oh, it's on the floor. Now, this is the best ear that I've finished making. Now it looks very fine, I would say. And I could say similar to this. It's it's not perfect, you can see. But not to forget, there's gonna be these foam pieces that also get covered with a new fur, which I would not suggest using fur actually. I have another material that I will show you that you can try using to make this look a bit better. But yeah, it will get covered anyways, so it won't look nearly as bad. So you can see these ears, yeah, these, they're fine. But my first ear, you see, Ugh. you see all these, these, Ugh. this is really bad. I might have to remake this ear. So, what what is the difference between this beautiful more off one and this really like stinky one? Eh? Can you point it out? Oh, put it in the comments if you know what the difference is. Simple. Here, super simply said, the foam squishes together and creates wrinkles, and they like go from the bottom to the top. Worst up here. Here you have four big seams, you can call them, because there's lots of fur that goes off then here, that I've just cut off then, so you can just have these small cornered seams. 
did that only like I think I've done it only once on this one, so <sighs> the whole the whole fur just squished together, making this this wasn't enough space, you could say. When it comes to these seams, you might say on on the, here it looks really obvious, and I gotta agree on you that that's it's really obvious this the seams. <laughs> and when I worked on my older one back then. The seams were not obvious because it was furry and stuff, it covered the seams easily, so it's hard to say what I prefer, if it's this more clean look or then actually the fur one. Personally I would do the fur one because then it's cuddly too, you know? So I've got myself some fur out and I will put you in a better position so I can show you it better. So when you fur my boy here, how you want to start off gluing is basically you take your like shortest shortest length and then your longest length lower like going down you take your shortest length and your longest length you know like like this the longer end goes behind him and you will just start putting this, like gluing it like on here, around him, and then over, stacks up behind here, where you see, that's his front, and then it all just starts like getting together, <sighs> so that basically it all just rolls around here, somewhat ends more like here that there's like a seam here the other sides roll around and end here where the rest just goes off and the rest you can just like cut off and then you have that seam that one seam the only one seam which is good you only want one singular seam on him i hope i explained that well enough you will take your piece this is as set your foam plunge like glue it on here roll the one side over the other this and that and then you will create these um, end pieces you will then cut these off with that you will then you will then create these small seams on the side you will do a similar thing with this ear just that you have it's a triangle you know you just do that with two sides you have one bigger seam than two smaller ones now as you have glued this on and cut these sides off you will then just slightly glue them inside just slightly in here to still have like a little foam inside this is going to be useful because this is like important because in the next part the ear fixture we will need to kind of open this up more. You will see in the next part. Same for this. You just want a little like lip going over there, but not too much going inside. You will still need the foam. And if you do not want your you don't want your um other outside piece to then bulge outside, you want this to be inside more off but you still will need this to like round this off and then use another material so for this the inside now it's hard to say what it is there's lots of different materials you can use i just simply used more foam no fur I, I just used fur um what i've thought of using now once again, for the cuts and stuff, tape. Now it's an interesting idea and I should try that. Okay, using tape, you could make it like look fine, but perfect. It, it looks it looks completely like okay, if I, if I would say so. Maybe it's bulging out a little, like it's not supposed to like pop outside of it. So you can suggest 
I can suggest using like tape or I don't know there's also like these other weird rubber materials of name that I forgot you can also just use like I used on my old cosplay fur that's completely on you once again but do not glue these after you have put the fur on there do not glue this on top of here you will need to have access to the inside now for some important data for the eye holes as an example I just simply like did small holes cut those to the um cut those holes to both the corners lap them in so they all have this inside off inside there now same for here made a hole made a triangle here put the triangle inside and rolled all the rest in having this done look a bit snazzy and of course exactly the same for the um, ear holes for the jaw you simply just foam and then roll it over here there's not much really to be said it's the, the, the jaw is like really simple if I would have said so like I said just take the jaw put it on the fur you roll the fur around it and that's it call it a day like, of course glue it and stuff so I hope that helped you furring your the yellow rabbit cosplay or any other cosplay you're working on because this could easily work on any other but yeah if you found this useful like and subscribe share and See you in part six, where we will do the ears of Wiedersehen. Yeah, that's, that's good, that's good. I think that should be better. Now you laid on my phone that I want to work on. Huh? God damn you.